sorry, I I was just busy working, so uh, this is. I'm glad you're here, though. I'm kind of out of breath, and that's cool, you know. Uh, just been jamming, man. Lots of time to jam now, and I want you to be able to jam with me. So we're gonna go over. I just want to shine by Fitz and the Tantrums, uh, by request. Shout out to Charlotte. Uh, we're gonna go over the just the the basics of the of the grooves. We'll play some of the actual fills that are used in the recording, um, and then I encourage you after you you can play all this. I want you to be able to embellish and and create and play your own fills and hopefully just take this and run with it. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm a YouTuber now, and this is how I talk into the camera. Can you hear me? Yeah. YouTube. Fits in the tantrums. I just want to shine. Fortnite dance. Here we go. Got my notes. First measure we're playing. Just quarter notes. Bass and snare. Alternating. Okay, you want to get fancy with it. You're playing a measure of 4-4. Four, four. Bass drums on count one and three. Snare drums on count two and four. Right? If you want to think, you can think of it in two, four. Or you could just not even think about it and just play the right foot in your left hand and, and leave it at that. There's no hi-hat, so no right hand. Right? So you're free to, to text. And uh, that's it. Let's try it. All right, so you're going to play that four times after the intro. Now, it's actually in the intro as well. You, you hear that lo-fi. It sounds muffled, like, like that. Okay, so you can play along to that as well. Um, but when the drums, like, really kick in, uh, you'll just play that four times. Then you keep that the same. So that's it's very crucial. It's very important that that's solid because now you're going to split all those notes with the hi-hat. The hi-hat will just play on the upbeats. Okay, one and two and all right, it goes like this. All right, hopefully that worked, okay? Maybe you had to play through it 10 times. Maybe you played through it. Look, no one gets credit for playing through it the first time immediately. It's We're on YouTube right now, okay? So take your time, right? It's cool. Work through it. That's the beauty of it. You can work through it as many times as you need to. All right, so now we're going to go on to, you'll play that four times. So you have eight bars total. We're eight bars into the song right now. Now you go to the tom, uh, the tom lick or groove, right? Dotted, dotted eights. I love it, right? If you're, it's the most common rhythm of all time, right? We're playing that. I like to play it on the floor tom. I'll show you a couple different variations. Really though, 
you just have to be able to play this rhythm and just change the location. So if you want to play it on your second rack tom, cool. You want to play it on your floor tom, cool. Just whatever, you know? Once again, live your life. Do it. Just do it. Nike's slogan isn't maybe think about it. It's just do it. So... All right, he'll sing for eight measures, okay? You can play eighth notes. I like playing 16th notes. You can hear in the guitar 16th notes, and then it sounds almost like a sample. It's, it's, hard, it's hard for me to hear it in the mix. Um, if you can't play 16th notes, if it's a chops issue, play eighth notes once again. Uh, I mean, I love hi-hat work. That's how I know no one cares about it. Because, you know, I did it, and my right foot, is you know it's uh, it's okay you know so it, if you're anything like me you need to work on the right foot left hand split really getting that solid hi hat stuff play you could play just with the snare on counts two and four just any I mean anything so anything that allows you to keep bass and snare solid and allows you to play along to the song so you can actually keep up. All right. Once you've gotten through this, you should you should be able to do more than you could before. But watching this once and playing through it once, by no means will you be able to play the song immediately. Okay. So take things out. Right. And if it's a physical limitation, just groove, man. Keep bass and snare. Hi hats always the first to go.
All right, so you'll ha play that chorus. It's eight times through while he's singing. Once he stops singing, that's your marker for I have four more measures. Then I go back into that intro where no hi-hat, bass, just quarter notes on one and three on bass, two and four on snare. Boom, chick, boom, chick, check, please, right? Uh, and you just you go through that form once more, right? Once you've gotten through that chorus, uh, the second time, you have like a break where you're like in space, basically, and and it sounds it sounds slower. The fill going back into the groove, you'll go back into the chorus groove. The fill is slower. That tempo is slower. Okay, so be careful because you you want you know, and it's also exciting. You want to, you know, back into the chorus again. So much fun. You're gonna tend to rush that um, just because your heart rate is accelerated because it's a fun thing. Um, I do the same thing. Ain't no shame in it. So. <laughs> Playing a diddle with one hand leading into four sixteenth notes, hand to hand sticking. <laughs> Didn't use the name of a rudiment. You can't at me, bro. That's really, it's really, that's it. Just can you move it around a kit? Rakatuka. That's it. If you can play that, you win, all right? So being able to do that and move it around the drum set is very valuable, right? Just make sure that, you know, it makes sense. Listen to what you hear and copy it, right? A lot of times what you'll do is you'll play it wrong, but your version that was wrong, it was better than the original. So remember to keep pushing yourself. Maybe you were playing eighth notes on the hi-hat last time, Play the song again and try 16th notes. Try it with two hands. That puts the backbeat now on your right hand. If you start with your right hand, play 1E e into 2E e into 3E. You now have to play with your right hand on the snare drum if you want to play hand to hand, right? So that creates a new coordination issue for you that you haven't worked through previously. So make sure you're challenging yourself. You can still use the same material, right, like this song, but you don't have to, it doesn't have to get stale, okay? There's a reason, you know, there's a reason you have loot crates every week and whatever your favorite video game is. If there was just one, or if there was just one level to a video game, that's really unsatisfying. Like, I beat it, what now? Like, oh, wait, that's it? I beat video games? Like, as a concept? So make sure here, you're still pushing yourself.
white stinky Febreze. I don't have a stinky. I just don't. Right? The, I mean, you get caught up in the news and all that. I, I, okay, my stinky is I look at my screen too much. I've been looking at a lot of screens, and I'm pretty sure, uh, I'm pretty sure it's turning my brain into a smoothie. So I mean, that's pretty stinky, but it also like, it's fine. Fabrizi would be this request. This request came from a student, and it's really cool that you're engaged. And this is all I really wanted was for students to be engaged and want to learn and create and collaborate and it's so exciting and I should have started doing this a long time ago so I appreciate you guys you guys rock make sure you let me know what else you want to see me work on and I really hope you have fun and I hope this was helpful stay safe wash your hands bye bye All right, take out my handy dandy notebook, wrote some of the parts out, just some of them because I'm not trying to work too hard. I mean, it's 2020. <laughs> right. Okay, so take out my handy dandy notebook. Um, I have the handwriting of a three year old zebra. So <laughs> I'm going to try my best to, <laughs> to articulate this. Well, we'll put it in the screen later. Come on. All right. Karate. 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 I am Lego Batman. Check, 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 check. What is that weird echo? Check, check. I just want to shine. All right. What is that? That. That. Weird. Any hoozle. What about the man saying that shul is pronounced school? Where's the K, buddy? <laughs> that was bad. All right. Now that brings us to the actual chorus. The, the man. It's, and it's so uplifting. This song's perfect for the times we're in right now. Um, and really, that applies all the time because everyone likes to say how bad their times are, right? It's not a competition, guys, right? If it was a competition, I would have won with two Apple Watches. So, I mean, just you can stop. <laughs>